Robin, let's talk about um, Edward Steichen. Yeah. Um, again, a fantastic photographer. Yeah, yeah. Interesting that he comes to fashion photography as a slightly, uh, he falls out with his friend um, Stieglitz mm. in doing so. Absolutely. But l l l l let me hear it from Well, okay, from you. I mean, f from what I know is that um, Steichen has this, uh, as you know, uh, uh, an incredible career as an, uh, for want of a better expression, an art photographer, yeah. uh, a, a pictorialist. He's, he's published in camera work. He's yeah. published, you know, and he has ex exhibitions of very exquisite, beautifully rendered, um, almost painterly photographs. Yeah, it's, it's gum by chromate. Is it gum by chromate? Oh, gum by chromate is certainly featuring. Yeah, yeah, the, the colour ones are, are gum by chromate. So you can actually you know. see the brush stroke. Yeah, that that is so so this, is, this is where, um, you know, the, 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 a lot of the early practitioners call photography painting with light and right. so they, they quite you know that analogy of yeah. being a painter and being a photographer is sort of and do you think that's a sort of legitimized photography you think that's a, a sort of we're going to have the mantle of painting to show that we're just as good is that yes and especially I think in Steichen's case because I think Steichen was um, if you read his uh, sort of photobiography. I think it's yeah. called a life in photography. Yeah. There's a lot. There's 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 a huge amount of his early years and a huge amount of his later years. And the Vogue years take and the Vanity Fair years take about that much really? of the book. And no. it's um, it's again, it's this. It's it's when photographers are embarrassed is the wrong word. They they just think that the the commercial world, the world of magazines, yeah. is not serious yeah. photography but I, that's kept on i mean we yeah no I some people no no some yeah absolutely there's there's uh, it's not but um you know a lot of his fashion photographs have survived and if you look at the anthologies since steichen's death he lived for quite a long time since yeah. his 90s about 1973 if you look at the anthologies now the yeah. vanity fair portraits the Vogue pictures are given a prime position because they are absolutely beautiful yeah. and remarkable in, yeah. uh, in, in the magazine context. Yeah. I mean, he does bring art to it. He brings modernism mm. to it. Um, uh, and Vogue is, uh, actually it's Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair and Vogue at the same time hire him. So he, he works for both. Right. Um, and Frank Cronenshield, the editor of Vanity Fair, uh, you know, is crowing on the page that we have secured the services of the world's yeah. greatest living photographer. Yeah. So his reputation is up there. Yeah. Um, and of course, he, um, he, 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 he does that thing which a lot of photographers, I, I, I'm sure I'm speaking out of turn these days, but a lot of photographers hope that they can mm. subvert the, 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 the strictures that magazines put on photography. And they'll yeah. go in there and they'll show them how it's done. <laughs> and, you know, yeah. He does. I mean, yeah. he, he brings this wonderful uh, modernist feel to, uh, to fashion photography and to, to his portraits as well. And I think they're absolutely uh, wonderful. Um, I hope he managed to reconcile himself with it in the end. Yeah. It was certainly, um, you know, apart from being the world's greatest living photographer, he was also the world's greatest, highest paid photographer as well. Was he? Condé Nast put an awful lot of investment into securing his... Right services. Um, and what I liked about the, the, this particular print is I've um, seen it so many times, I've never seen <laughs> the original, one of Mrs. Uh, of Mrs. E. Cummings, Marion Morehouse. Um, it's very unusual in these early years to have a model, you know, quite relaxed, looking quite strong yeah. and standing, <laughs> staring at you, yeah. um, uh, almost, uh, you know, frontally. Um, and and that, that's a departure for, for, for Vogue, that's a moment. And what I loved, when we started, um, Alex Shulman and I talking about the, the exhibition, how it should be, yeah. she quite rightly said, what I don't want to see is rows and rows of, uh, you know, those posthumous prints you get at art fairs, all in uniform black frames. And I said, well, that's great, because what I want to do is I want to go yeah. right back yeah. and try and find the original picture, the one that was m published, that made the magazine, yeah, yeah. the tools of our trade, yeah, yeah. the working documents. And you know, Alex, if they've got tears, if they've got the art oh, director's better. crayon, yeah. it just, it gives that sort of resonance of history. Yeah. You know, they've been through it, they're lucky to survive, and it gives a bit of a story. And I had, didn't realise that, um, that this print did have everything I wanted on it. A, it's a great image, beautiful print, it's got tears, and it's got these sort of odd, sort yeah. of china graft, um, Triangles, cropping marks, I guess they are. I guess some kind. Written and, probably you know, and written across the, the top, Vogue Fashion, June, da da da, number 25. You know, it's, and that's exactly what I wanted in, yeah. uh, for us to find, and I'm thrilled it happened uh, at least altogether in one of my favourite ones. A particular name for these prints on the art market, 
they don't have a category of their own. It's like working prints. Working prints, yeah, absolutely. And they've got their own value. Yeah, absolutely. As opposed to yeah. sort of, you know, the, the, yeah. the gallery prints. Listen, in the perfect. old days, the American buying public especially would not touch something like this, yeah. something that had tears and rips. They, they literally, until very, very recently, I'm not speaking out of turn, the American buying, the collectors wanted, yeah. that weren't seriously collecting these photographs, wanted pristine prints. Right. They, they want an Ansel Adams type, beautifully printed, yeah, yeah. whatever it is, layers of, yeah. you know, inks and so on. Uh, and it's only relatively recently that, 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 that we've been able to sort of show these and all that, and you know, make a yeah. virtue of their, yeah, of, of, their, the, of their age and their abrasions and so on. Yeah. John Deacon's a good... Uh, John Deacon's a great example, <laughs> good, yeah, completely. All, no, no, yeah, it exists, see, it's no, no, well, well, a pristine... Painted on, yeah. There's that one out there of uh, Francis Bacon, which is the yeah. V&A's one they lent to us. It's got, you know, rips out of it. Yeah, yeah. We've got the negatives at Vogue, and I've printed up yeah. uh, a pristine copy. It's, just, it's not the same <laughs> picture. You need those You'd tears. You've had the Bacon's the bed for no, a couple of years. Just, no, no, it just doesn't <laughs> work. It needs that sort of lucky to, to, yeah. to, to have survived feel about it. Um, We're going back to Steichen, an yeah. incredibly <coughs> elegant photographer. I mean, there, there are yeah. certain, fashion photography brings certain things to photography. Uh, one of the things that some bring is grace. Yeah. And there are very few who bring that. Mm -hmm. um, contemporary Bruce Weber, yeah. I would have thought, the graceful photographer. Mm -hmm. um, but certainly Steichen brings an incredible grace. Yeah. You look at how the hands are held, yeah. you look at you know, the, just the sort of... Absolutely. The, the general feeling that comes out yeah. is a beautiful picture. Um, yeah, I mean, all of his photographs have this incredible grace to them, this elegance, which is something mm. which is actually quite rare. It is. Well, I'm often, it's often, um, people often ask me, and I actually don't know the answer, is how much of that is Marion Mohaus, yeah. who was a very liberated yeah. person anyway, great fun apparently, uh, you know, married to this sort of, absurd is the wrong word, um, this sort of, what's yeah. the, modernist poet, uh, right. E. e. Cummings. Um, so she's quite, uh, I, I think she's, she, she's quite a person anyway. Yeah. Uh, so how much of this is Marion Mohaus helping yeah. Steichen achieve whatever it is, well, or, or how much of it is Steichen saying stand like that? I suspect she has a bit of input because he's, when he does talk about his fashion photography, which is, you know, quite rare, yeah. um, she come, he, he, he calls it a collaboration uh, and, and he, he, he acknowledges her yeah. uh, by naming her. Uh, and I, so, the, the, reading between the lines, I suspect that it means there was a proper photographer, right. model relationship, which yeah. which worked. You know, she helped. Well, I think it's something that's very much overlooked is what a model brings to a photograph. Yeah. <coughs> um, I, I've worked with lots of different models. We did that series for British Vogue at the Millennium. I remember, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Sixty years mm. of modelling, and you realise when I was working with some of the women who had been models for people like uh, Bailey mm -hmm. or for Newton or for all, you know, all mm. those range of photographers who I love. Um, you, when as soon as I started seeing them work, you could see a kind of you know, a, a Bill King appearing yeah. in front of you or, yeah. or you know, somebody else's photo. You realise, actually, they're bringing they're all bringing of this. No, so I'm sure that she brought sort of I think she would have done. Um, but, yeah. you know, and Steichen's the one that recognised this is interesting, new and brilliant and, yeah. and, and what we, we, the way we need to take fashion photography forward because um, he wasn't going to leave that art world behind and not try and do something pioneering I, I yeah. really genuinely think he thought he could break the mold of it yeah. and be um, you know bring uh, his aesthetic to 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 fashion photography and any rivalry um, between him and Baron Adolf de Meyer he, uh, he comes he replaces de Meyer so de Meyer is, has gone oh, really? and Steichen comes in and it's a it's complete vault fast I mean you look at the de Meyers and the yeah. you know the light is and you know, they're, they're very uh, light infused and soft and, and so yeah. on. And this is, you know, the lighting is very good, but it's much, much more harder edged than Demet ever could. So Volt do, Volt yeah. does that great thing it often does, which is yeah. change like that. Yeah, Volt yeah. fast. Yeah, but that's fashion. That's fashion. Well, you remember, I, mean, I was thinking the other day that um, Corinne's Kate Moss underwear yeah. story, June 93, yeah. your glamour is back, yes. Linda cover, September yeah. 90, or, or November. Yeah. That's. That's, a, that's, that's the moment. I mean, that's, and that's how that's it a great works. Moment, yeah. um, I think when you're engaging, um, when you're cre creating work to put in a magazine or just in, in general creating a fashion photography, it's a, it's a dialogue with other yeah. photographers. And sometimes you want to compliment them mm -hmm. and say, okay, well, I, you endorse this particular style of yeah. photography and I'm going to too. And other times you want to say, you're wrong. Yes. This is what it should <laughs> be now. Exactly. And it's a part of that sort yeah, of no, fashion thing yeah, of absolutely. being able to sort of say, yeah. that's all finished now. Mm -hmm. and this is what we're going to do. And this I think that's the dynamic that's kept me yeah. intrigued by fashion yeah. 
this is this bolt fast, this yeah. quick change. This thing, well, I think this is exactly what Stike and why he came into it in order yeah. to take something that's accepted, turn it on its head, yeah. and you know, and do something. And he lived long enough to see that his place in the pantheon was assured. Right. You know, because I think he stops working for Vogue in the sometime in the. 30s, and he dies yeah. in 73, yeah, you know, so having well. had that later career at the yeah, Museum yeah. of Modern Art yeah, and yeah, so on. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, enough to see that, actually, you know, I really did do it, and I am yeah. being collected, and people well, are talking he, about me. He was at the That's Museum of Modern Art, well, he was the sort of photo, photographic director or something. Yeah, absolutely. Did, did, did which I suspect was a family of man he did, absolutely, yeah. yes. Um, which, uh, yeah. So it allows, so as, big, you, as you yeah. very rightly point out, it allows him to sort of you know, he's part of the institutions that are, that are yes. starting to sort of, you know, yeah. pop up photographers saying this yeah. allows him to fairly claim his space. In it. But oh, completely. Whether he should or should, you know, whether he did or didn't, he certainly should have done because yeah. he is one of those great photographers. I completely agree. That, you know, really completely agree. Everything yeah. he took on from photographing sort of, yeah. you know, the American Navy. Yeah. This. Oh, no, completely. You're absolutely right. It's a whole other thing. His, his, his sort yeah. of um, combat, wasn't combat photographer, but his war photographer is extraordinarily good. Um, yeah. And I wish he had done more portraits for yeah. Vogue, and not so many for Vanity Fair, because then I could show them, and it would be great, because I think his portraits are sensational. Yeah. Um, you know, the wonderful one of Gloria Swanson with the veil in front of her face. It just feels yeah, yeah, yeah. so effortless and so simple, but you just know, well, you will know, yes. how difficult it is to do effortless. Yes. You know, and I think it's, it's never effortless. It's never effortless. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it's, he, he, he's a wonderful photographer.